Hi everyone, it's day four. I'm really sorry, I completely forgot to do a vlog yesterday. But half the reason for it is basically that I was on my, um, because basically, I'll explain it to you, it's easier. Um, right now we're going to, for my MRI scan and um, because I've had to up my muscle relaxant dose, so my baclofen, um, just because my spine does not do well when I'm laying on my back. Um, I've had to up it and basically, well, but I tell you, I'm not 100% with it. Um, <laughs> to the point I probably shouldn't have driven here, but never mind. But I got my pillow. I got my CD of music. It's quite hilarious, actually. Like, these lot, I literally got to them. I'm like, can you put my music on for me? Because I've got it on a CD. Um, but yeah, so go for my MRI on my spine, get an up-to-date MRI, and then... I think we're going home and just resting, but I might do a couple of bits on the videos later. Annoyingly, I broke my camera as well, so I'm doing everything on my phone today, which isn't so great. Um, but yeah, see you in a bit. Gooey! So, just had my MRI. Um, kind of half glad, actually, because basically my pillow idea worked. Um, my Unlike last time, where my shoulders within five minutes had had enough, and obviously I'd gone into like really bad spasms after, um, my shoulders didn't start giving me dip until the last, literally like the last sequence and it was like a minute left of the last sequence and they started but um, luckily enough the sequence finished in time that no, like none of the spasms started while I was in the scanner um, in terms of like my back and like the, the mini ones and that but um, hopefully it means that because the images are okay they won't have the problems they had last time and obviously like saying that because they were so difficult with the movement problem and the fact that the spasms had caused the uh, images to have movement artifacts or whatever they call it um yeah hopefully this they said the images were okay so hopefully this time like they'll be able to tell us exactly like how things have progressed if things have you know if things are stable if they've got worse um fingers crossed everything's stable but obviously they just need to know what's going on we're just literally like going back to the car now because i didn't even park in the hospital i parked across the road um and found out that they don't it doesn't even look like they've got a time limit on the bays across the road anymore so i'm going to try and park there as often as i can now um but yeah probably get home get some rest i was going to go to tk max and halfords quick but we're both tired so yeah hiya so i uh I've had a bit of a rest and I was like, do you know what? I'm feeling well enough to come out for a little bit, just to have a look around. I'm in home sense at the moment. Look, how cute are they? I'm actually looking for a couple of new bits, literally just to um, see what I want, um, like get ideas um, for the bedroom. Because basically ever since I got the um, house and Sphinx bed delivered back in October, I've kind of realized that not only is the color scheme in our room, like my own room, no longer excellent, um, it's also, <laughs> it's also quite difficult because a lot of the stuff that we've got now doesn't really work with um, the bed so we're kind of like gonna have to redecorate and stuff but I'm just looking at like accessories and things like that and some of these are just so cute so yeah I was kind of like looking at these I was thinking like literally two of those I, I'm literally a bit of a pillow freak I love I love my pillows and cushions and sort of like decorating with them so yeah but no I actually came in here to get dog stuff as well because there's a couple of treat things that they do here that are really reasonably priced for the dogs I want to get some like really cool training treats for Fudge that make him realize that he is being really good and hopefully we can do more training with him so yeah okay guys so basically I've been doing some training work with Fudge because um everyone, it's quite funny everyone has said to us that ever since we've had Fudge um that he's literally untrainable and you know chihuahuas you'll never get any obedience training done with them but we've actually taught him sit and he slowly started to do <laughs> he slowly started to do poor bless him um Kaz is down there he's also learning to be he, well he's He's basically showing Fudge how it's done, supposedly, although we've had a few cheeky moments, haven't we? Yes. Both sitting patiently. Brett, 
Would you like a oh, right, treat to distract the dog? I'm oh, okay, thanks. Right, fudge, up. Up. Not with my hands and arms. Up. Okay, Kaz has got up. You need to come up. Up. No? Okay. Poor? Yeah, that's not poor. Poor? Fudge, poor. No, okay. Fudge, poor. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. 11 a.m. Well done. Right, let's show Kaz off then. Kaz, sit. Do you treat? Kaz, do you treat? Sit. Uh uh. Poor? Yeah. Sit. 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 Kaz, sit down. Sit. You're meant to be the obedient one here. Sit. Kaz, you're meant to be obedient. Sit. Poor. Poor. Good boy. Other poor? No, other poor. Other poor. Good boy. There you go. Yes, you're also a good boy. Right, so um, I need to learn to finish my vlogs off because um, it's the next day now. But basically, um, MRI obviously went well. Um, so we're all good. After, after Home Centre actually got back home, um, I found a little a new collar for Fudge. So Fudge's got a new collar now. Thought I found a really nice jacket for him. Turns out it's too small for him, which isn't good. So I've got to go and return that today. Um, but yeah, hope you all have a, a good day and uh, see you tomorrow. Because I promise I am going to get these vlogs sorted. And I am going to get these daily vlogs on the run so that we do do a proper countdown to my 21st. So yeah, see you tomorrow.